Thanks to Sank family, we're here with Woo the poet. I feel like it should be dragged out. Woo. Ooh. Yes. A little vibe. Maybe. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll think about it. Yeah. Well, you, like you said, it depends on the person introducing you. It depends. So, you know, I have energy. So, I'll say woo. Woo. I like it. See? It's you like a call vibe. and response. You know, like, back then, there was like woo. Get, get it. Woo. Yeah, yeah, you don't know the song. They don't know about that. <laughs> they don't know about that, man. Who doesn't? I mean, I mean, I mean, I am in another decade, but yeah, I know good. about it. I you know, know about it. it. Miami music never dies. Never dies. Okay, okay. Woo. Where you get the name from? Uh, My name is Rue Jerry. Rue Jerry. My government name. So, it's just Rue. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, about the game in Woo Jerry? You didn't like too Woo long. Jerry? I used to go by Rue Jerry Dangerville. That was the whole name, but mm-hmm. I was like, ah, it's a little too long. I would have them say my name every time. But the thing was, I remember um, anytime I would get off a of stage and I'll just be like, oh, follow me on Instagram. I would have to say the whole thing, and I'd be like, mm, then you got to spell it out. Let me just shorten this, and then I got better results after that. Ah, got you, got you. So, um, we were discussing inspiring people, people that motivated you. Who and you know what time period? Like I'm a Harlem Renaissance junkie. Right. Like I, but then I am up in age. So <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about you and your who motivated you to you know go on this journey. Um, I don't know. I haven't done my fair share of research in terms of like older poets. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's so they one don't thing. You? Yeah, that's no. one thing that I do got to do a better job of. But um, I guess poets that inspire me now. Um. So I compete on the National Poetry Slam team. So my teammates actually inspire me a lot. I think that they're really dope. Ah. And they deserve the notoriety and the recognition. Um, I also am inspired by, well, I can shout out my teammates, Mike McCain, um, Bird. Um, you got Calvin. That's another nice. like spoken word artist that's around here. Calvin made some early. Um, other notable poets like that are in Cali. You got Prentice Powell and Rudy Francisco. That's actually like one of my biggest inspirations. Like when I started, I really wanted to be like him, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I really thought he was dope. Um, and you met him up there? Yeah, I met him at Nationals. Okay. Um, and he's, he's just dope. Like, a lot of the things that he's doing to push poetry forward are things that I can see myself doing and possibly doing even greater things. What like, What is what's one of the things that he's doing? Um, that? He was on the Jimmy Fallon show. Oh, wow. Uh, I think it was the Jimmy Fallon show. The Tonight Show. One of those, like, late night mm-hmm. shows and... Poets aren't normally on shows right, like that. So right. it just really opened my eyes to what is accepted in media. And if you are talented enough and you push your craft further enough, you know what I'm saying, you can do whatever it yes, is that you breaking want. breaking those barriers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and I remember one time I tuned into his live um, and he was just talking about like potentially getting like a Netflix special and you nice. know what I'm saying, different things like that. And I was just like, wow, I never thought of that. You know what I'm saying? So now he Almost just, like a deaf poetry jam? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ah. Like, almost like, you know how comedians like Dave Chappelle or like Kevin Hart, they have their own Netflix, like, specials? Right, right, right. It would just be like, I could go and sign, like, a Netflix deal, and I'll just have, like, an hour-long special of just me performing like how I normally oh. do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, like, something like that. Um, when he was talking about it, I was like, I would never thought about this, but and this is something that... there's a niche out there. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely so, a niche. And what, what's up with the, 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 the late night clubs? Like, you, you're over 21, right? Yes. Ah, I can say this. <laughs> what's up with the late, like, the late night clubs? Like, I remember, okay, in eons when I was in college, mm-hmm. we would actually have clubs where they would have poetry. Like, yeah. like real life, like, um, love zone scenes. Right. And, you know, with the whole candles and the dim light. I mean, that atmosphere, I think we just need that. Um, I see it every now and then mm-hmm. in Miami, and right. then it'll be like one pop up here, one pop up there, and then it disappears. Right. Like, do you know if that's something that you will look into with your team? Like, you know, let's try and like have this going, especially right. when when COVID stops. COVID opens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing is, um, myself and a couple other poets, we're trying to cultivate just a hub of yes. just artists um, where people can come into the city and have like a central place where they can go find some dope so poetry dope. you know what i'm saying uh for guys they can go find women ladies you can go find men you know what i'm saying like just and really have find, you know what i'm uh, saying let me have you a nice little ambiance <laughs> and we actually want to do that but um we just need to find a central location the right place and find consistency because that's really the problem down here like you'll have an event pop up right. it'll be popping for about two three months and right. then it kind of dies down yeah. so that's what we're working on actually nice nice we find we have more with rule the poet in just a few you guys stick and stay you want more information about us log on to www.sync.com we'll be right back